right, guys. My name is Tyler, aka Nanogenix, and today your boy just got up. Dogon Official has the goods, baby. That's what I'm talking about. We got a brand new transforming cooler super attacks, as well as I think it looks like a uh, a cooler squadron type unit as well. Looks like Salza and Naze, and I can never remember the other guy's name, are on the squadron as well. And some background for me: Cooler's Revenge and the Return of Cooler, like were one of or well two or three options that I had to ever watch Dragon Ball on demand when I was a kid. So I've watched these movies a lot. So I'm really hoping to see some awesome stuff here. I love Cooler's design so freaking much. With that said, let's hop in. So here we go. We're over here. Shout out to Dokkan Official. We're also going to take a look at the translation stuff. I've not even seen what these units can do yet. As I said, I like literally just got up. And uh, since you guys have been enjoying these reactions, here we go. Let's see what's up. Let's see. Let's see what's up with a brand new transforming cooler and a brand new cooler squadron. Val said Frieza squadron. Cooler's squadron. Dory. Is that his name? I think that's his name. All right, here we go. Okay. Actually, you know, for like a side character, this actually looks kind of dope. Okay, all right, all right, I see you, I see you. All right, this is what this is what we're all here for, dude. What? Oh, it's not done yet. Oh. Are you kidding me? Dude, if he does the... Ch -ch -ch. Oh my god. Y'all know Dokkan's the GOAT. He's gonna do it. Yes, bro! Oh my god. Alright, we got... What was that animation? Dude. This might actually be animated better than the movie. What? Can I say that? This, that Hang on. That might actually be animated better than the movie. Okay, I'm slightly confused right now. The OST was okay. Is that a is that that is new OST? Is I didn't I didn't recognize it. It wasn't it wasn't this. I remember when we were doing the one for Future Gohan. I was like, yo, this is, might be a new top five. Okay. All right, they actually did they actually did the face mask, bro. Oh my god, dude, that moment in the movie when he does that. We actually just reacted to that the other day on stream. Simply Casual, aka Mika, suggests I do that. Okay, hang on, we gotta rewatch this. Hang on, hang on, hang on. We got we got to rewatch this. That thing that he did, they did with the 3D rotation around Cooler. What was that, bro? They snapped, dude. Hang on, we got to we got to see all all this again. This actually wasn't bad. His non-transform. I hope his transformation isn't hard to get. This actually looks pretty freaking good. It did a lot more than I was expecting it to. A new environment. Of course, this is where they are in the movie. Like, that all looks awesome, dude. Are you kidding me? Like, that is super impressive, man. It's just... Hang on, I gotta get this out. It's just kind of like... Like, it's just kind of cool to see, like, a new environment. These are some very... This is a very, like... This is similar to what they did for the Tech Broly. But this is some some very new areas. Very new colors. Like, I don't know how many times in Dokkan I've ever seen, like... the Like, in, like that orange like that. I don't know. It's just, just kind of nice to kind of see some, like... Some new areas and stuff. Ah, dude, this is this is awesome, man. I was just talking about this in that in the freaking heroes video the other day, but Dokkan is Dokkan's going off right now, dude. What? All right. I love that they're putting as much effort into the non-transform state as they are into the transform state. This transformation. Oh my god, this might be my favorite one. I'm a little. I'm a little biased. I'll be a hundred percent. It looks awesome, dude. This seriously might look better than the movie. I'm sure someone's already done the movie comparison thing, but... Oh, bro. All right. What is that? What? We're rewinding and watch that one more time. What is that? Dude. It seriously looks... Hang on. We got... That... Th All right. We're going to watch the transformation one more time. And then I may rewind that 3D animation. Th that's... I, I've never... Have you ever seen anything like that in Dokkan? What are they doing? 
Yes, bro. Alright, this is probably instantly. If this unit I don't care if this unit's good or not. This is this is a top probably top five unit for me. I'm so ready to summon for this. Just look at all of it. I mean this is this is you you have the movie inside the game. That's that's what this is. One, one more time one more time with this 3D animation, bro. I can't I cannot stress enough how dope this looks. Oh my god. Okay, all right, fine. One more time and then we're gonna move I wanna move on to see what this guy can do. I love how they even have the sound effect for the, the mask coming up. Bro, I can't. Okay. All right. All right, let's look and see what they can do. Okay, so Salza's, Salza Cooler's Armored Squadron, uh, Conquest of Terror. Okay, so that's what, that's Cooler's leader ability. Conquest of Terror. So a new category. Interesting. I assume that's probably going to be similar to anyone who has that Thirst for Conquest link. Category key plus 3 HP attacking units plus 120. Super attack is the armored scramble. Causes supreme damage and lowers attacking units. Okay, that's not bad. Passive true power of the armored squadron attacking demons plus 30% for every conquest of terror category ally. That's actually pretty good. Uh, if there's an ally whose name contains cooler, excluding cooler's armored squadron, perform two additional attacks, which have a low chance of becoming super attacks. What? Cooler's armored squadron, cooler's underling, loyalty, hold judgment, shocking speed. Ooh. Brainiac's fierce battle and they fit on the conquest. Wait, Conquest of Fear, Conquest of Terror, and Joined Forces. Okay, that seems really good. That's going to be, I mean, that's a pretty massive, I mean, because you would only really probably want to run them on this anyway, because you're going to want, if there's an ally whose name suit, I mean, like, it's that's what they're, they're built to be ran on Cooler's team. Okay, let's go down. Let's see what is what all those coolers do. Make sure you guys can see it. Yeah, you guys can see everything. All right, sick. Well, besides some of the stuff I'm hiding behind my face cam there, but hello. All right, Cooler. Unequaled ultimate power, conquest of terror. I think he said he said something up here, right, about it. Only changes his leader skill. Oh, should also include transformation boost. Okay, so he's a transformation boost lead, and this new conquest of terror, which again I'm assuming has something to do with these, this thirst for conquest link. It could be wrong. I'll take a look at that really fast before I, I wrap up the video. So leaders, leader abilities, category key plus three, HP plus one thirty, and attack and defense plus one seventy. Okay, all right. So that alone, he's already gonna be doing dumb numbers because of that super attack is his death flasher causes immense damage and lowers attack and defense okay passive is torture to death attacking defense plus 100 percent wow okay hang on if it's already 100 percent i'll wait i'll wait for transform okay sorry i'm trying to get ahead of myself but if it's already 100 percent before he transforms that's gonna be okay transformation boost category allies key plus two attacking defense plus 30 percent if there is one enemy Cat Conquest of Terror category allies keep us two and attacking defense plus fifty percent if there are two. Oh, if there are two or more enemies. Okay, who, bro? I was about to say that. I mean, that's nuts, dude. This unit. What is with them having these units be supports, but also leads and also do really good damage? This is nuts. Link's strongest clan in space, Thirst for Conquest, Big Bad Bosses, Brutal Beatdown, Metamorphosis, Universe's Most Malevolent, Fierce Battle. Had to cough. All right, so his active ability is a transformation. Okay, that's actually kind of sick. Conditions, A will be used starting from the third turn if there is a pure Saiyan or hybrid Saiyan category enemy or once six turns to pass if there is one enemy. That's dope. Okay, wow. So three turns. You know, you know how much, like how, like many of the the sort of events that that covers pure sand hybrid sand and then if not six turns if there's only one enemy that's awesome dude that's actually that's a really good transformation mechanic six turns is a little intense but at least it's not completely reliant on pure a pure sand or hybrid sand and it's not reliant on someone else being on the team it's just straight up there's no there's no hp restriction or anything just straight up Three turns of its freaking, you know, one of the mini Gokus or Vegetas in the game. I mean, just a pure Saiyan or hybrid Saiyan or six turns here, which means like on the longer events, if it's a longer event like History of Dragon Ball or something like that, or a, a new legendary event that's not Goku, then you can still transform. That's pretty great. Uh, categories is on Conquest of Fear, Conquest of Terror. I guess it's kind of interchangeable there. Movie bosses, transformation boost, and wake of bloodline. So once he's transformed, 
Super attack then becomes death gliding, raises attack. Wow, he has an infinitely raises attack from what I can tell here and causes miss damage, great lowers defense. Passive, conditions of the strongest. Key plus three, attack and defense plus 180%. What? Attack and defense plus 180%? Perform an additional attack, which has a medium chance to become a super attack, so it's very similar to the physical one. Perform a critical hit if there's a pure sand or hybrid sand category enemy. He's guaranteed critical hits. Not once. Unless, I assume Gresh would have noted if it's... More, if it's you're telling me that every single attack this dude does is going to be a crit? He's freaking Gogeta Blue. But he can transform after three turns, and if not after three turns, six turns? Dude, hang on. What is the what does the physical cooler do? Attack and oh, sh shout out to the wiki right now, by the way. Attack and defense plus one hundred percent, and launch an additional attack, which has a chance to become become a super attack. And this one is a hundred and eighty percent. Perform an additional attack. Perform an additional attack, which has a medium chance. So he has even he has a higher chance for the additional to be a super attack. And instead of having just attacking demons plus 100%, which we already know that the Fizz Cooler can put up some like numbers, this dude has 180% and gives himself a guaranteed critical hit to pure Saiyan or hybrid Saiyan category enemy. That is insane. Wow. Okay. This dude is like broken. I, I mean, I hate to say that word anymore, but he's broken, dude. All right. They absolutely snapped with these animations. This unit looks crazy. Conquest of Terror. Let's take a look at this Thirst for Conquest link, and that's probably going to be a good idea of, like, what we can expect. Okay, so, yeah. This is probably a pretty good idea of what you can expect inside the actual category itself, if I had to guess. I mean, there may be some changes, too, but if I... I mean, this is probably going to be pretty close to what you are mostly going to see in that category but it's pretty dope that he's also a transformation boost lead as well so that opens up like the team that he can be ran on slash also be the leader for is actually kind of kind of sick and the fact that he is able to give them freaking support while doing all of this is crazy all right guys there you go which i mean also it, it's cool that it's an active so you don't necessarily have to use it if you want to run this cooler and let him be a support unit don't use his active ability to transform him into this absolute monster but why wouldn't you just let him be this absolute monster that he's going to be oh dude all right man there you go that was today's video shout out to the boy Goresh, the homie Goresh. shout out to dokkan official i am excited for these units this this is awesome man this is actually awesome guys if you're new to the channel you enjoyed today's video you might hit that subscribe button you might as well hit that like button for those incredible animations oh nanogenic sign off and i will see you guys have a great day i'm so like whatever right dude i just have a great day. Keep on keeping on. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.